Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my podcast. I'm um this episode is going to be about the first five episodes of Pretty Little Liars Original Sin. And before I start, again I wanna say I'm sorry. I it took me so long to do this. I meant to do it last week, like for the first three episodes, and I said this in my last episode, but I my hair appointment took four hours, so I wasn't able to watch the episodes fast enough to get it done and then I had work Saturday through Tuesday and I was too lazy to do it on Friday so here we are and I did watch episode four and five yesterday so we're just gonna go through it all and I might forget some stuff because it a lot happened in these five episodes and so if I do just comment and I'll talk about it in the comments or I'll make another episode about it, but we'll see. So the first thing I do want to talk about is how I feel just about the show right now because I was going into it, like, with no expectations. Like, well, like, expectations, but not, like, any high ones. Like, I really wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did because I am a huge Pretty Little Liars fan, even though I will admit the show had multiple flaws and it like wasn't the best show but I did absolutely adore it like I was hooked because at a point when before I knew genuinely what a good like like it had its moments it was genuinely like a good show at times but before like I watched like I didn't watch that much stuff before and like but I did but I didn't know like what really good show like that had consistency was good throughout I've never seen one like that yet with that many seasons or close to that so like in the moment i thought it was amazing and then it it, then it hit me when i was watching the vampire diaries like wow it really was not as good as i thought especially like the later seasons but i still did love it and i think it was or nothing i thought it was too soon to have a reboot because it was like ended five years ago and i think like you should at least wait 10 or something like I think Gossip Girl because like that reboot because I do love the reboot I think that was like it was a bit longer they waited but I think it was a good amount of time but I think Pretty Little Liars was it wasn't long enough like between them maybe I don't know but so like I wasn't expecting much like because I just also like I don't know. I don't know why I wasn't expecting it to be, like, good. Just probably because Roberto, who is does Riverdale, is, was in charge of it. And, like, R- season one of Riverdale was fantastic. I'll give him that. And season two was pretty good. And, like, the other ones had their moments. I haven't watched season six yet, so I wouldn't know if this is any good. But he also did Chilling Adventures of Sabrina and Katie Keene, which I loved those two shows as well. Like, I did love Riverdale at a point. Not as much anymore. But, like, I love the other two. So, like, I was okay with it because, like, I absolutely adored the other two. But I was just still worried about how he was going to do because I just don't trust him as much. And I was just not sure how it was going to, like, work and, like, how, like, the show was going to go. But it was, so, like, it was really good. Even though, like, my expectations were, like, really low. And, like, I wasn't expecting, like, to like it as much as I did. I like I really did like it and like I watched it the day after it came out so like I did hear a lot of people did like it so like that's when I was like okay you know I'm gonna give it even more of a chance like I was just gonna watch one episode think about it but when I heard it's like really really good and you had to watch all three I was like okay I'll do that and I did and I really liked it even though like I was of course worried because Pretty Liars is so iconic and I think like I said it was I thought it was too soon to have a reboot and I just wasn't sure how it was gonna go I really did like it I thought the five episodes were really strong like I don't like it as much as of course I like Pretty Little Liars more right now like the original but just because probably I had more there were more episodes and like it's just season one which is so iconic this one is still so good like I love the horror of it even though like I'm not a big fan of horror like it tends to freak me out a lot and I'm like I just don't do well with anything like really horror related but I really did like it I liked how it was more (laughs) it was scarier and I liked all that stuff it was just really interesting and 
I just, I really did like it. And so, like, I'm, like, looking forward to, like, all the episodes now and, like, finding out who it is and stuff. So, I'm, like, I'm really excited for that. But anyways, now we're going to talk about, like, episode one and go through each episode. And I'll probably forget some stuff because a lot happened. But let's hope I don't. Okay, so episode one. That opening messed me up. That flip freaked me out. Like, I wasn't that scared, to be honest. But it just caught me so off guard because... First of all, Susie from Stranger Things was there. I did not realize that until someone texted me about it. But it just caught me so off guard. And, like, I'm, that's what got me hooked was the intro because I'm so intrigued about, like, the Angela Waters. Like, I'm so intrigued by that. And I want to know more. And we're, like, of course, thankfully getting more. And I liked how they're parents were involved with kind of like stuff like that and I thought that was really interesting and so like I always I love the back like the not the backstories kind of the flashbacks I love all of those they were so good so interesting and like it's just really good and I still I will just say this now I do think Angela is a or like Angela had a daughter I still stand by that because I don't know I just it makes sense to me and I feel like that would be really cool but there's also when I talk about like some other stuff or something there's something I need to get to because I've seen theories about this and people are freaking me out and I'm really intrigued by this I'll bring it up in a bit but first we're gonna go back to that episode one and so like the first Angela thing really interests me but also like first of all the mom's casting like some of the moms casting was really good like because they look so much like their da- the daughters which I thought was really good and like so that kind of freaked me out as well but I just it was a great opening I think it really got me hooked because I was just so intrigued by it but also the way the Imogen's mom died really freaked me out like I didn't get too scared like if I got really scared I would have turned it off in a heartbeat but like it it for it caught me off guard because I was not expecting like that. It freaked me out in the moment, but I was fine. I survived clearly. And I'm still watching it, so I had to like it enough. But it was just, that was like when I realized, even though I knew this was gonna be more horror, that's when I realized it was gonna be like gruesome in this one and like way different how he was in the original because he didn't kill people like that. I don't think they ever they. I think they did kill people in the original. I think at points maybe they didn't I'm not 100% sure but this one's like killing so many people and the way they killed the mom was insane like I like that's the one reason I thought it was Angela from the beginning because like and not Angela Imogen's mom has some stuff with Angela like all the moms do and that's why I really thought from the episode one Angela was a but or just the daughter trying to get revenge or something if she did have a daughter maybe I don't know but like that was just so I thought the death was cool I thought that was like really well done to for me maybe like it freaked me out but like it was really good I don't know that might just be me and like it was just so cool how he wrote a in blood or they wrote a in blood I just thought that was cool I don't know why even though it was like so gruesome and awful but like I felt so bad for Imogen because she's like so was so alone and I'm so happy she has the girls now like I really do like Imogen like she I will say she's not my favorite out of the new liars but I do love her and like I'm just so intrigued by her especially with like like the pregnancy and stuff because of course we didn't get to see a pregnancy I think in Pretty Little Liars or like the original that's what I meant to say um we didn't see a man at least have a pregnancy maybe we saw some other people who knows I don't remember because a lot happened in that one but I'm just so intrigued by that because I've always wanted to see that and I always thought that would be so interesting especially because now like she has to go through like this on her own and like without her mom and like I kind of want her to keep the baby even though I know that's not what she wants to do and I feel like I want her to do what's best for her 
and I feel like it's going to be a lot without her mom, but I really want to see what it's like for her to take care of it without the mom and probably with the help of the girls because I feel like they'll probably help her a lot. I'm just like so intrigued by that to see that, but also I want to know the father. I want to know who the father is because like... I don't know who it could be. Like, I have no guess besides the fact that he met them on the... He met her on the beach or whatever. Still don't know. Like, I think that's what it was. But, like, maybe it was something different. I don't know. I just really want to see who it is because I just... I'm always so intrigued by that. When, like, someone gets pregnant and you don't know who the father is. Like, I haven't seen that much in shows, I don't think. But, like, I'm always super intrigued by that and I always want to know more. And so hopefully we find out soon... I'm hoping, I feel like maybe we'll find out in like the last episode in the season finale, some big stuff's gonna probably happen, and so like that, but I'm just, I love Imogen, I'm so intrigued by her storyline, and it's just like, I don't know, I just love her, like, not as much as some of the, I love three other girls, but I do love her a lot, and then her like, the way she's like, Mrs. Karen, even though I still believe Karen is I mean we all know this we I think people knew this from the start Karen is alive and Kelly or whatever that girl's name died we know that but like the way she was like still missed her like in that scene she was like saying like even though they weren't friends she missed her that showed how like the genuine person she is after how much Karen did to her and like how awful she was to her because first of all I would like to say we do not like Karen here like I feel bad bad for her that she lost her sister but still I don't like her at all and I kind of wish she was the one that died but you know it's okay maybe in the future that'll happen who knows but I just that shows how pure Imogen is and like how she just has such a nice heart that she was like really sad about that because girl if I was her I would be so happy like I'm not like a mean person like that (laughs) Like, I think I would, I would feel bad, but if she did all that stuff to me, I wouldn't be as sad as Imogen was, feel bad, you know, but that's just probably me, I don't know, but then who else do I want to talk about, I'll just, okay, I'm just gonna talk about Karen more, because I hated that girl from the start, and just her name being Karen explained a lot, and that made me know I was gonna hate her, but like, first of all, like, the twins, them being twins, I knew when, like, I saw the twins and stuff, that they were gonna pull something like this, I was like, okay, they're gonna kill someone, and I, like, I knew that, because that's just, well, first of all, PLL always has, um, twin things that confuse the crap out of me, and I'm really hoping it's, like, there doesn't randomly turn out to be a triplet, just, like, I don't know, it's just, because I'm so scarred from the Alex Strait thing in the original, Pretty Pretty Little Liars, jeez, and I, I'm still scarred from that, and I still haven't recovered, maybe because I did watch it, like, three years ago, it was, it's been, like, almost three years since I watched the finale of Pretty Little Liars for the first time, and I'm still scarred from that, because that confused the crap out of me, and I still don't understand it, I'm still very confused, but, you know, it's okay, but I'm, I knew they were gonna pull some shit like this when I saw that she had a twin, and I think it is interesting that they did this, because I kind of thought but then I when they did she did die I was like okay maybe not but then I thought I was just being an idiot but I saw people like on Twitter talking about it because I wanted to see what people thought and like like see hear their opinions and stuff so I looked I was like looking it up and somebody did say that I'm like and a a lot of people agreed with them and I'm like okay so like I'm not just an idiot I probably am right and I'm happy I am because that's just like something like I mean, I want to give Roberto credit because it's a really good show so far, but that's just, like, it was obvious that that was going to happen, and that's just, like, not, like, I'm trying to think of a good word, and I can't I can't because I'm really tired. Like, it was obvious that it was going to happen. It was, like, wasn't really shocking that it was Karen. Like, it was shocking that the person died. Like, that did and was actually murdered. Like, that, like, freaked me out. But it was shocking. But, like, the fact that Kelly was the one that died and not Karen and, like, they switched places, that was not at all. Like, I think everyone could see that coming. I mean, like, I don't know. Maybe some people didn't. And, like, if you didn't, that's per- that's okay. 
I, that's probably nice because he, like you might be shocked when it's in now <laughs> or like you were shocked when like in episode like four or five when it was brought up but you know it's okay but you know I feel bad for Karen that like her sister died like I think I said this before like I feel bad for her but not enough because I still like despise that girl like she's she's awful like I do feel bad for her that her toes kind of like got cut and stuff like that was not something fun like I don't think people should go through that but like I like felt bad for her in that moment but other than that I didn't because I just hate her and like I knew she was gonna be like a bitch from the start when I heard her name was Karen but you know it's okay I really hope they do actually kill her in, like, the finale or someone does. Because I just, I hate her. And if they get renewed for a season two and I have to witness her even more, I'm going to cry. Unless she, like, becomes like Mona. Even though I don't think, Mona wasn't really mean at the beginning. Like, I liked Mona. And, like, I want her to be like Mona and become, kind of, like, get in their friend group and stuff because I loved her. And, like, if she turns out to be like Mona, I'm perfectly fine and I'll, I'll like her a lot more because I didn't really like Mona from the start or at the start because I wasn't sure about her even though she did turn out to be A and I was wrong about that I still loved her throughout the show so I'm kind of after like the beginning when I didn't so I'm kind of hoping this happens with Karen probably not because I just don't think I'm gonna like her well I love the actress though she seems like a really nice person so you know it's okay we'll get through this and then who else do the next person, like, or, like, main character I want to talk about is Farron. We're going to do her because that's the first person that came into my head. Um, I love her. Like, she's in my top, I think she's my third favorite, like, new liar. Like, I love her. Like, first of all, she's stunning. Like, I want to know, like, just, like, how she's that gorgeous. Like, I, like, first, also, I kind of forgot she was even in it. Like, I knew about Mouse. And of course, Imogen, because I know who Bailey is. And I knew about Tabitha, because I knew who Chandler was. And, like, I absolutely adore her. So, like, I knew about those three. But I forgot, like, about the other two when I was, like, starting the show. And I, so, like, I wasn't expecting her to, like, be a main. I don't know why. But, like, when she started, like, when I figured out she was, like, one of the new liars, I got really excited. Because I'm just, like, intrigued by her, especially because she's a ballerina. And I love that. Cause I used to dance and I used to be a ballerina when I was younger like I just love that but also she's like so smart like because even though we're gonna talk about like what happened in episode four in this right now but she was so smart that she like figured it out about Karen and Kelly because I think it's not that hard to figure it out but it might just be because we're like viewers of the show and like we're not acting like we're in the show or something if that makes any sense so I feel like she was smart to figure it out because I think like if you were in the show and like you were like you wouldn't figure it out or something I don't know I don't know if I'm making any sense with that but I just thought it was genius that she found out and like she's probably one of the smartest out of the group just because no one else thought of it and like the way everyone thinks like she's like being an idiot and they're like oh stop like what's wrong with you blah blah blah. nothing is wrong with her she's just telling the truth like it's obvious like you have to be blind not to like think of that like oh wow like maybe they switch places they're like bad people blah 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 like come on like like I just I got so upset like at the people who were just like like saying she was wrong and like telling her to drop it because like she can't drop it like this could like something bad could happen to them like because Karen's still alive like Karen could do some stuff like come on I know they like I get why they don't believe her but still it just upsets me but like I love Farron so much I like loved her from the start she's like like she just seems like like a really cool person person and I don't know why like she's so talented and like she's just like I said she's really smart to figure that out even though we all saw it coming but like I don't know I like there of course I don't trust one of the liars like at all and there now I did but then I read something and like I trust Farron I do want to say that but the person I don't trust is Mouse and we're gonna get into that now because I saw something, I don't know where I saw it, I think I saw it on Twitter, because, like, it was a little bit before this, because I wanted to, like, get people's opinions so I could, like, think about things and, like, 
think about what the, they think and like talk about it. And I saw a few about the fact that they don't trust Mouse and like it showed some stuff and now I'm really confused. I don't know. But n- a few people don't trust Mouse. And I'm not, I kind of forgot why. But first, like she was like when before any of them like looked up to see like Kelly up there like with the paint like everyone was clapping she looked up and I don't know how why she knew that and I did notice that I just didn't think about it and like now that I read that I'm like thinking about it more but also her birth date is like 1990 something on this like missing thing in the intro or something or like somewhere and everyone thinks that like she's Angela's daughter or something now and like if it is like first of all that would be insane like I really hope that does happen even though I want to trust mouse because also I ship her and oh what's that girl's name oh my gosh she's like one of my favorites I gotta look this up I think her name's Nora maybe let me I need to look this up because she's like literally my favorite oh my gosh Oh, Noah. Okay, Noah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense now. Okay. Anyways, Noah. I love her, and I ship her and Mouse a lot, even though I ship, like, half the girls together. I do ship her and Mouse and Noah, and I really don't want that to be true about Mouse if, like, she's, like, lying or something, but I also really want that to happen because I think that would be so cool, and, like, even though, like, I kind of if it does happen, I still won't see it coming. I feel like I'll still be, like, so shocked because I don't think, like, they would ever do this. But, like, I really hope it happens because that would be insane. That would be so good and so interesting. And, like, I don't know. I knew, like, one of the liars were gonna, like, I was gonna do something or, like, have some secret or something and, like, hiding from us and then it'll come out and ruin everything and if that's what mouse's like thing is or like lie is and if that's her i'm going to die because i like her i like mouse a lot like i said she's probably my least favorite especially after (laughs) reading that and now i'm worried i'm i still love her and i still like kind of hope it's not true but then also do because that would be so good oh my gosh that would be so interesting and like Uh, I really hope that happens. I don't think it will. Like, I I feel bad for saying this, but I don't think Roberto would think of that. I feel, like, awful for saying that, but I just genuinely don't think he would think of it. Maybe he would. Who knows? We'll see. But if that's true, oh my gosh, I will uh, die. I literally will die. Okay, who else do I want to talk about now? We're going to talk about Noah, because, like I said before, I absolutely adore her. And I also, I think her and her boyfriend are cute. Even though I do ship her with Mouse, I think they are kind of cute. I also do ship her with, um, Farron. I ship, I forgot her name for a second. I ship her with Farron a lot as well. And I don't know why the stupid picture came up. I saw the stupid picture and then it made me ship them. And I'm now going through. I can't, I can't go through, like, a ship that I know is not going to happen again because I've gone through it so many times. And I'm, like, just not genuinely up for it because, like, I'll talk about it, like, soon, but, like, who I'm talking about, but I went through, like, this whole, like, shipping thing, like, I ship these two characters, like, more than anything, and, uh, they're, they're clearly never gonna happen, and so I can't go through this again, especially when it's Roberto, because I know he's gonna hurt me and never get them together, but I ship her and Farron as well, but I feel like her and Mouse have, like, a higher chance to get together, because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Mouse is a lesbian, I think, or I'm thinking of the wrong character. I thought it was her. I think it's her. I'm pretty sure. I'll look it up after. But I do like Farron and her boyfriend. I think her boyfriend seems like a really, like, nice guy. And, like, he seems like, like, he seems to really care about her. So, so like, I do like him a lot. Maybe he'll do some thing in, like, soon. I really hope not. I hope he's like Caleb because I loved Caleb throughout, like, almost almost the whole show. Not all of it. He did upset me a lot. But, like, I hope he's like that or like Toby and just doesn't do the A thing because that hurt me a lot. But I hope he's, like, I kind of see him and, or not him and Caleb, Hannah and Caleb's relationship with, like, with them in a way. And, like, 
that's I think that's probably why I like them so much because I was like such a big halo shipper and I don't know I just I really do like them even though like I don't like I want her to be with other people but if they do like stay together for a while I am okay with it because they are kind of cute but like Noah's storyline and like backstory and everything breaks my heart though because like the fact that she had to take the blame for her mom and like in episode four when she was like getting like or like not what is it called like getting chased by a and stuff like she had to go through that it was just awful and like i'll talk about that more in a bit because it gave me chills and i was like dying but the way like her, the cop came in and saw like that cup of magne for magnesium or something and her mom like said was well, not hers right away like that was awful like why would you do that to your daughter the fact that she took the blame shows how like a genuine person she is because like the fact she didn't do it just like breaks my heart because she I will say she's probably like my second favorite liar and maybe even my first like she's getting up there and like the fact that she had to do that like broke my heart and when we saw that like an episode like I think it was like episode three or two that that's like, she took the blame and she didn't actually do it like that got me so intrigued about her and like I'm so interested in her especially like now that she like told them that her mom did it like I was so intrigued by it and I feel like it's just my heart breaks for her like she had to go like through all that because of her mom like I get her mom doesn't want to lose her job like I did get her she doesn't want to get in trouble but you should never like blame your daughter for something you did like even if it's like you don't want to lose what you have girl I don't care blame yourself like take the blame for it because it's your fault your daughter did nothing wrong like that just shows how like a genuine person she is because when I saw like she had like the ankle the ankle an oh my gosh I can't speak the ankle thing on that was like oh no like is she gonna like am I not gonna like her did she like kill a person I was like oh no but when we found that out like that made me love her even more that made me like really like no okay she's not a bad person she did nothing wrong she just took the blame and so I hate her mom let me just say that I like despise her mom like so much like I've always thought something was off from of her from like her or something from the beginning like I felt like this vibe or something but I hate her even more now like why would you do that and I'm so happy she like um told them that she got it be or like it was her mom because like she deserves to like live her life and like not have people like thinking she like is a felon I, th I think I'm pretty sure that's a felony I'm pretty sure I think I hope I hope I'm right <laughs> if I'm not I'm sorry but like people deserve to know that she's n not a bad person she didn't do that like she's genuinely such a good caring nice caring person because she did that for her mom and like so I really hope that everyone finds out soon like it's so like they know and like they take the mom and she can live her life and not have to worry about that like oh my gosh it's just so sad and also I will talk about her getting chased because I brought it up but like it was insane like that was probably one of the best scenes they've done throughout the whole show not probably it is the best like that was insane and like I was freaking out like I had chills like the whole time and I was like wanted to scream I wanted to cry I like, didn't know what to do with myself because it was just so intense it was like so well done and it was really smart the way like sh to so she could jump over and get away she like turned around and like like ran past like ran really fast like I thought that was genius and that was smart and like I would not have done that because I would be too scared that he would that A would grab me because I'm not that fast and I have asthma but you know it's good on her part like come on like also it makes sense that she's really fast because she was on track or something or like cross country or whatever it was called I'm not sure which one if they said which one so it makes sense like you know I get that but like that scene was insane and I felt like so bad for her but like I was so happy when she said it was her mom and then also I don't know if this was episode four or five but when like she took the bottle of pills out and it said Caleb Rivers on it I wanted to cry because I miss him so much and I loved that little like like that little like camp I don't it technically wasn't a cameo I don't think maybe it was but like I just I miss him so much I love Caleb and like 
that makes me hope that he'll make an appearance in, like, the next few episodes. Like, I don't think any of the girls will, like, make an appearance. I, like, I really don't think that. But I have hope because I will cry if I see any of them again. I, like, will die. So, I mean, we can hope. But as you can tell from all this ranting, I love Noah so much. Okay, anyways... Now we're going to talk about Tabitha, because she was my favorite at the beginning. Noah might, like, be my favorite now, but, like, it's either one of them. Like, I don't know. They're, like, neck and neck to be my favorite right now, but I love Tabitha. And, like, also, I was just so happy that Chandler, who, that's who plays Tabitha, for people who don't know. I love her, and I've been a fan of her for a few years now, and I was, like, so happy that she, like, got this chance and opportunity. But, anyways, we're going to just talk about her character now. I loved her from the start because like first of all her hair is so nice (laughs) pretty like I just love all their hair I don't know why I do because it's just so nice and I wish I had hair like that come on but like she just she was seems like such a genuine nice person as well and I know like a lot of the girls do but like they have her their moments she's like had her moments like to stand up and like like she punched someone but like that's not a bad thing like I appreciate it but like come on but like she just is like so nice to Imogen and like the way she's like been helping her and I ship her and Imogen so much and it's really not a good thing but you know it's okay I'll get I'll get through it I know a lot of other people do so I'm happy I'm like not alone because I cannot like I said I cannot go through another like ship that's not gonna happen again because like it'll it'll break me but anyways you know I absolutely adore her though because like she's just so like smart and like the way she like she loves movies like I appreciate that and like the way she stood up for that teacher I don't even know what she was saying but you know we love her for that but just the way she like cares about Imogen so much makes me like her so much because Imogen, like, is going through so much right now. Like, she's pregnant. She lost her mom. She's kind of having to take care of, like, like, not the baby yet because it's not born. Like, dealing with the pregnancy kind of alone. So I'm, like, happy that she has or, like, Imogen has her because it's just, like, probably it's so helpful because, like, Tabitha is, like, just such a nice person. But, you know, I just, I don't know what else to say about her because I genuinely, like, I genuinely, like, adore her, and her punching, whatever that guy's name is, I'm so happy she didn't, like, Farron going off at him, iconic, like, I'm so happy she did, they did that, I'm, like, so happy, and I'm so happy he died, like, come on, I don't even remember his name, I don't think it was Greg, I think, I'm pretty sure that was Karen's boyfriend's name, I don't think it was Greg, it might have been, I will look, I will look after, maybe I'm wrong, it was hard to tell because they were all in smurf outfits or smurf costumes which was really really stupid like come on like i just hate them as you can tell because i'm just talking trash about everyone that i don't like but you know i just was so happy he died i was so happy he died but you know a i do want to talk about a really fast because like he or she okay the reason i think it's a he is because like I don't know why, I just think it is, but then also I think it's, like, she, so I'm gonna call them, I don't know, A, we're just gonna go by that right now, A freaks me out, like, like the way it has no face and it just pops out of, out of nowhere, and it thinks it's, like, invisible or something, because the way it's just, like, standing out in the open, like, it's invisible, and, like, the way, like, Noah, like, saw it through the window, like, when she was doing her, like, like, what's it called, I don't know, because I've never done it, um, <laughs> something community work I think it's like I don't know what she was doing her out her hours I think that's what it is I like and it like popped out of the window that freaked me out but also that officer because I just thought of this now that officer oh my gosh I hate him so much especially that scene because like when like that like teenager popped up like that freaks me out like it didn't scare me that much it just caught me so off guard and like got like I want like I don't want to know more about that but I feel like they need to bring it up more because that was just so disgusting and like that just like just caught me so off guard like I just stood there in silence for like even though I wasn't talking to anyone because I was watching this by myself but I sat there just staring like quietly 
at like the TV, like just like in shock, like for like about ten minutes because like it caught me so off guard, and like that would if I was hurt, that was that would traumatize me, and I feel like probably did, but it needs to be brought up again because it's just so disgusting, and also he has a family, and even though I do think A is Angela or like the daughter, or like maybe if she has a daughter, like the the father of the kid who's mad or something, no. I also think it could be the officer just because I don't trust him and like I don't want to go through another like thing like I did with Pretty Little Liars which I know everyone did at a point we all, we thought everyone was A at a point like when they did something sketchy or like they did something like just stupid we all were like okay they're A they're A blah 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 I cannot go through that again like I genuinely can't like I, I went through that so many times like back I watched it in the summer of 2019 and like I knew some stuff but like not all of it but the way like I was so like determined that like Jenna and Melissa and Ian and all those people were a and I never got it right I'm still really upset because it's like it's been almost three years because I I know I finished it like in late August like after my second day of school so it's coming up my our three years since then and I'm still, like, so upset that I never got one right. I was never right. And I still have not forgiven myself for never being right. And I, I don't know why. I mean, I don't think anyone was right about, like, the last, like, I don't think anyone was right about AD and whatever that Allison's Charles, Charles, uh, Charlotte or Charlotte. I don't know. That whole situation is confusing crap out of me. I don't think most people were right about those two, but the fact that I wasn't even right about Mona just upsets me because I didn't even know who it was. I'm just so worried I'm going to go through that again because I, I think everyone's A. Like, even though with this one, I'm like a little more like, I think I have a feeling who it's going to be and I feel like I'll be right about someone, but if I'm not, I will, <laughs> I will cry. I cannot be wrong again. You know, like I literally can't, but okay. Anyways, we gotta talk. I need to figure out what else to talk about because I'm probably, I said this, but I'm probably gonna forget so much stuff because it's five episodes and I literally don't, there's so much happened in each episode. Oh my gosh. But what happened? Okay, let me think. Okay, the, the guy that like, not, I don't think it's um Tabitha's boss. It might be, like, I don't know his name. Like the older guy. He gives me like serious Ezra vibes and like, Okay, I hope I don't get killed for this. I did ship as Ez- Ezra and Arya, like, at first, because I was like, oh, they're kind of cute, and I did ship them throughout the show, and I was happy when they got married, but then now that I'm older, I'm realizing how bad it was, and, like, I really didn't like them, and, like, now I don't really like them. Like, I like them kind of, and I still kind of ship them, now that, like, they're older and they ended up together, but, like, I'm realizing how wrong it was now, even though I kind of knew in the moment. I'm now really realizing, and, like, like, for, even, like, if I don't ship, like, him and Tabitha, whoever that guy, whatever that guy's name is at all, I just want to say that. It's, like, not going to be, like, an Ezria thing, like, even though I get Ezra vibes from him, I don't ship them whatsoever, like, I, like, ship her and Imogen, like I said before, and maybe that chip guy, like, or if, if I think that's his name, they would be fine too. But like, I get like the creeps from him just because I feel like he's gonna, tr- he's already kind of tried to get with her, I think, in like that scene at his house and she just left, which, and she, he tried to kiss her in the car. And like, he just needs like to not, I don't want another Ezra. Like, come on. Especially when like Arya was one of my least favorites. Especially when, like, she's, like, my favorite or, like, one of them. I need him away from her. I need to protect her. Like, come on. No. Like, get her away from him. Like, it's just not that hard. I don't trust, like, any, like, almost any guys in the show right now. I trust Noah's boyfriend for now. Might change. I kind of trust Mouse's friend, but then also not really... I don't know why, I just don't trust him. Also, because the fact he doesn't, I think most people in the show, or, like, most of the people know she's, like, gay or something, and the fact that he hasn't figured it out, which I don't think, I don't know, maybe it hasn't been that obvious to him, and if it is, like, it's fine, but I think he just needs to back away and let her figure it out. I, but, like, I kind of like him just fine. And then, 
I kind of like Farron's friend, but then also not. I just don't trust him. I don't know why. I think his name is Henry. I don't really trust him. But who else? I trust Chip, though. I do like Chip a lot. So, like, I only like kind of two guys for sure. And, like, three I'm, like, kind of like, but then iffy on. And so, like, everyone else I don't trust. Like, I just, I don't trust people. I, like, literally don't. And I don't, like, I think Pretty Little Liars was the show to make me not trust, like, anyone that came. Because you would think, like, everyone was A. And, like, that's what started my whole roller coaster of, like, not trusting anyone. Which I can't, like I said, I'm, like, so worried about this show. It's gonna, like, ruin my life if it gets renewed. Like, I really, okay, I will say this. I really want it to get renewed. Like, I'm so worried because HBO, every, not HBO, I think everything's getting canceled. And I'm so worried about this one because, like, it's really genuinely good. And I don't want it to get canceled because I, like, want more. But I'm worried, and I'm worried if it gets renewed, though, it's, like, literally going to ruin my life. And it's gonna go, like, how i think season three if season three is anything like the original pretty little liars and it's that good it'll ruin my life because that season broke me into so many pieces and the amount of times i cried over it was insane and i like literally don't have the energy to go through that again because even though i will say i don't like anyone yet as much as i love spencer and probably hannah i don't like anyone as much as i loved them but, and maybe even Emily, but I do like Noah, Theron, and Tabitha, and even maybe Ch- Imogen, but m- mostly those three. Um, I do like them more than Arya, I think, maybe. And maybe Emily, I'm not sure. But, like, no one has beaten Spencer and Hannah yet, so I don't know if I'm gonna, like, get really as emotionally attached. But, you know, maybe... I don't know I'm freaking out I'm so scared if it gets canceled you will hear from me but because I'm, I'm just so upset someone so many things have gotten canceled and I'm like genuinely so scared that they're gonna cancel this I I at least want like two more seasons or at least just one get like because I don't want it to end on a cliffhanger I hate when that happens oh anyways I'm so sorry I'm I'm ranting I'm like so upset about stuff right now I'm just trying to think about what else happened because, like, so much happened and I'm freaking out. I don't know, though. Like, I'm kind of stressing out thinking about this. So, you know, for now, it's going to be the end of this episode because so much happened in the five episodes that I literally cannot think about everything. So, like, probably next episode, I'll do just one about each episode and not do them all together so like actually remember stuff and watch them one at a time maybe but yeah so thank you so much for listening to this episode the next one will probably be out um i don't know maybe some are gonna be out tonight probably not i will try to get another one up but probably won't happen so maybe tomorrow sunday Or Monday or Tuesday. I don't know. So, like, I know, like, because I'm planning on two other ones right now. And then, of course, High School Musical. Episode 3 will be out Wednesday. Hopefully, episode 6 of PLL will be out um, Thursday. And then the other one will be out Thursday or Friday. And then, I don't know. Because I will say, I go back to school in, like two weeks was yesterday so I go back to school soon so like that's when it's gonna be a little bit harder for me to do PLL and high school musical but I'm going to figure it out I'm going to make sure I'm able to do it still and be consistent and then what else is coming up never have I ever what should be out the day it comes out or like maybe the next day I don't know then Riverdale season six is out this weekend so I'm gonna watch that and then once I finish I'll get an episode about that I think but I don't know what else is gonna happen like for now that's it or like what I know is coming up we'll see and maybe if there's any drama stuff I'll talk about it but maybe not I don't know I'll figure it out but again thank you so much for listening and I'll see you guys in the next episode bye